What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to landscape your houses for winter. Let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, I'd like for you guys to please ignore what is going on here with this driveway and all that crap. I honestly have no clue. But alright, anyways guys, as you know, the winter season, there's a lot of snow that'll be coming around here. I'm actually going to change my neighborhood colors real quick, just to, the right snow. And if you want to know how to do that, you just go 255, 255, 255, and bam. That is suddenly snow. It's close enough, am I right? Alright, anyways... I like to use this bare tree here. I tend to use the co color pine cone. I think this is a good winter color, if that makes sense. And then another thing you can do here is they will into your inventory, right? They'll add these little like structural of a snow kind of thingy, my bobber. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this to y'all, but it's basically as if it's this garland right here, but it has snow on it. And for some reason, I actually don't have that in my inventory, but I do have icicles that you can add. And so, like, if you want to just, like, add on some icicles to your house, I mean, you can do stuff like that, which will probably work out really well, which I might actually have to do. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, you also see stuff like this here, like the snowy round bush, for instance. That'll kind of cover up most of your bush, but obviously not the entire thing. And so you kind of want to keep it, like, a color like that almost. But basically, if you want to add your own custom snow, a good way you can do this is just by going into the standard square beam. And kind of just placing these around you don't have to worry about like what exactly that looks like right now because you can use your transform tool and get that all mixed up or all nice and nice all right so lily white is the color that they use in game for the snow in case you did not know that and what you can do is you can move it around literally anywhere on the tree i could rotate it like this and have it like here like towards like the bottom so that like just kind of makes sense i can have it be like on like the bark of the tree if that makes sense so i can like rotate it up i'm gonna rotate it actually and have it on the bark so let's have a go like this just something like that like you know you can just have snow like there on this bare tree and if i'm correct that should still clone yep it does and so if you just keep doing stuff like that you will eventually obviously have enough snow in your tree you can get stuff like the small one right here and just kind of keep going like this almost whoa perhaps make it a little bit wider so if you go to your resize tool and you just stretch it on out a little bit. There you go. And then you can just click on it. You can move it around a little bit. Whoa, that's not how I want to move that around. All right, so look, I kind of like to get this little overhead view so that I can kind of tell what I'm doing exactly. And so obviously, guys, gravity is this thing. And so you want to have your snow like kind of on top of your branch, kind of something like that. And if I'm going to be honest, that actually looks sick. People will probably wonder, like, whoa, how'd you do that? I mean, it's not something many people do. It's a small detail. It might add to a little bit to your plot data by a little bit. I mean, a lot, but it's worth it, in my opinion. All right, let's try and get this down here. See, look, guys, this, the collisions on the trees, man. If developers, I might actually have to ask somebody about that, bro, just so we can fix up these collisions, because my goodness, this is insane. All right, and so now we can just go like this. Let's try scale this around sorry if i seem a little out of energy guys uh i'm all right guys believe me just the yeah, it. you know man sometimes in life you just got things going on it kind of just de-energizes you makes you a little bit unhappy but trust me man we'll be right back to normals man i've been so busy these past few weeks y'all i don't even know how to describe it to you and uh maybe my schedule will free up here and i can keep working on this house that i started a month ago don't ask questions <laughs> and um but yes yeah, so hopefully i can finish up this house here i would love to have that happen but anyways you can keep doing stuff like that to your tree i'm gonna stop talking about that now because i don't know why i'm still talking about that tree you have these little snowy large boulders boulders that they'll add to the game my goodness i cannot talk <laughs> and so you can also have these little cypresses here which these are like a smaller like kind of like an elegant ish not an elegant but like a luxurious tree if that makes sense they'll have a lot of these in really really nice mansions and so if you like to have that kind of stuff just kind of add in some color and bam you can literally just move this like right here in this corner of your house and just be like oh look i got an elegant tree there and there's these lights that they will add in which is similar to these icicle lights but not exactly oh i don't know what happened to my all my christmas stuff i'm about being honest with you i must have deleted that house but yeah i mean i obviously did but yeah i must have deleted it before the christmas stuff went away and here you have the, like the icicle lights you can add and so normally it'll let you go structural mode it won't let you right now since it's not in season but that's a kind of fun thing that you can add another good thing is you can have here in winter add in like a reindeer or something to your landscape just add in like something small just like that like just like right behind this tree here it's like whoa there's a reindeer how cool like you know just some stuff like that 
add in maybe some snowballs here at the corner like oh man i want to go play some snow if you have like an open lawn space that'd be something good to add to fill in space i personally like to add that stuff um it's kind of risky though because you have to be kind of careful as to where because it's like why would somebody build a snowball like right here you know so you kind of have to be careful but it'll work out in the end and obviously the snowy pine obviously the snowy pine tree is a little bit overpowered this one you can make it a little bit bigger and yeah yeah that's like a genuinely just a perfect winter tree i mean i'm not gonna lie y'all this is about as winter as it gets it's you can do whatever you want really with this one this one i'd suggest going with the darker color you can even go to like a the sand green which that looks very very christmasy i'm not gonna lie and so yeah, you can just kind of set stuff up like this i don't know if i'm teaching all how to landscape winter stuff right now or not man i'm just trying my diddly darndest all right but yep now you can kind of just go on here add in like lily white and you can add like this like sleet almost and so obviously since i've made my uh my my flooring like this geez i cannot talk since i made my flooring like this i cannot use slate I'm gonna have to use like snow like this probably. And I'm not sure why Lily White looks de so depressing. But that's okay, I guess. So you can kind of add that stuff around in little patches and stuff. I figure since we're probably gonna be getting our winter update in a month from an hour or so, you guys should probably know how to landscape your houses and change your stuff appropriately. Because I'm pretty sure I did a landscaping video, if I'm not, not wrong. Um, where did I do that at? Alrighty guys, scratch that. Turns out I'm gonna need it and I actually did not do a video. That was one of my planned videos that did not go very well. Because I just didn't do it. So, uh, don't ask. But, okay. Anyways, another bush that I like to use is the compact bush. This is one that's kind of more popular. And people will tend to make it either really bright like this, or they'll make it really dark using, like, earth green or something. If I use earth green, it looks a little bit depressing. And a trick, though, that you can use with this is if you go, like, here... And then you go, uh, you place another one on it. So you do the control Z, control Y trick, which is about as old as I am. And then you, <laughs> and then you can just put this on top and you can just make this be uh, white and act like it's snow. And then have the one underneath obviously be that earth green. Which you just go like this. And uh, if I'm correct, you can kind of rotate it around. Wait, hold on. So that's going to go there. And so that this control Z. And so yeah, you can have like that, a bush kind of looking like that. It's pretty tough to do and it's kind of not very efficient. And if you want to just do something better, I would suggest resorting to just another bush that's covered in snow. Very similar to one of these bushes here. And yeah, the easiest thing that you can also do to decorate for winter is literally just add in some reefs. I'm not going to lie, dude, these reefs are probably one of the most realistic holiday items in the entire game. Like genuinely, they actually add so much to your build. I'm not even kidding. Like these are probably my you know, these are probably my favorite holiday item that they add. Like it's so easy to just add one of these deep build and make it look realistic. Like even like that, just like, it look it looks realistic the wreath itself. So I'll see where I add those on this build here as time comes. But adding in wreaths around will work out great. A lawn elf probably not so much. If you're using a blow up or something like this, I would not imagine that's gonna look very well. Maybe with a holiday archway, probably not, guys. So yeah, inflatable snow globe. No, thank you. You can add in the like the bear pine trees. You can even add in a Christmas tree if you'd want, but I preferably have it inside near like a window. So where's our Christmas trees at? So you got a Christmas tree like right here. I'd probably have it like right in the corner, kind of something like that. And you just make it very very dark. So you make your lighting about as dark as like as dark yellow as possible. So like, oh man, because you have to have a mint light some like that would be kind of good. I I'd say, honestly, that would actually be pretty good. Yeah, that looks great. Holy cow. Yeah, just make the yellow like dark enough so it still glows, but obviously not the darkest thing in the world. But man, yeah, that looks really good. I'm teaching myself some new things. <laughs> would you go look at that? But yeah, I'd resort from using this snowflake, and I would also try and use the snow pile if you can. I would use this like probably like towards like this area. The ice on it, in my opinion, does not look the greatest. I really wish we had better in-game ice. Oh, you can change the color of that. That's actually kind of cool. What can I change the color of this to? I mean, you can make this like be a more snow, I guess. Like. I mean, that kind of looks realistic. Does it? It's, don't ask, guys. Oh, wait, I have a color palette. I forgot I have a color wheel. But, I mean, you can experiment with this if you want to, guys. But, honestly, I would, don't use that that much. In my opinion, it's not the most realistic thing in the, in the world. I wish we had more realistic ice. Because, like, the actual skating ice, dude. Like, it'd be so nice if we had realistic skating ice. So that way we could go, you know, on ponds and all that stuff. And man, yeah, that, that'd just be so great. That's probably something I might suggest to, for them to add because that would be pretty cool. So hopefully that'll work out well. 
If you have fountains on your property, make sure you just turn them off. All you gotta do is just place one. Where's a fountain at? All you gotta do is just place one. You literally just walk up to it and just turn it off. It's that simple. It's just that simple, guys. And uh, don't mind the plot name. This is my Chicago, Illinois plot from about, oh, I don't know, 10 million years ago. And I still have a name Chicago, Illinois for some reason. But it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna question my tactics right now. We're here to learn about winter landscaping. Speaking of winter landscaping, I need to see, I need to keep teaching you all this. All right. So you have your roofing here now, right? Roofing is probably the toughest thing to do in winter. And whenever you get like those new trim stuff that you can put here, like an overhang of snow, that helps out a ton. But one of the biggest things you can do is use bevel cubes. This is a trick that I'm going to be trying to implement into my build this year. And so I'm just going to be going like this and just maybe extending it out like that. And I will just be going, not like that. Hold on, where's my color at? There we go. You can place it like this. And if you rotate it around, and well, hold on, let's just get this up here. So like, let's say you get it up here and you rotate it. And uh, holy cow. All right, there we go. Place this here. You can place some stuff like on top of it. Bro, I swear, man, this game. All right. So before you rotate it up, you'll place some stuff on top of it and kind of add like some layers like this. It kind of looks cool if you just add in some stuff like that. You can you, you can kind of use this stuff for overhangs if you make a really narrow one. So if you make one like kind of like this and just have it come on down. And boom. Make sure you kind of just narrow this in. Whoa. Yeah, like that looks so cool. And if you just kind of add on to that, really, you just place this like here and here and you kind of just rotate. Maybe you place one in between and you rotate one of them. Bam. Like this not look kind of cool. I mean, that overhang, it works, right? It works. So you kind of see where I'm going, guys. Just try and implement some stuff like that to your roof. Don't be afraid to get custom with this year through roofing and stuff. I hope that genuinely adds some like really, really good things for roofing because I feel like that's kind of the one part of Christmas where we all lack on is roofing. Like, you'll see people either paint their roofs, all of that concrete, which in my opinion, it's not a good idea, guys. It's not a good idea at all. But, yeah, so don't do that. Please don't do that, because that's a terrible idea. Just, if you paint your entire roof white concrete, I'm not going to want to look at your house, because it's going to blend in with every single neighborhood in existence. Like, why would I want to look at that? Add some depth to your roof with the snow. You can literally use the snow to your advantage to add depth, guys. It's the simplest thing ever. But, yes... I get this video is probably not the most helpful thing of all time, but I tried my best, y'all. And so if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm about to hit 3,000 subscribers, and I would like to hit that by the end of the year. So try and help me on my goal, I guess. And if you also want to stick around and watch other videos, that's fine too. I don't know when my next one will be uploaded, but hopefully it will be here soon. But with that, I'm signing off for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.